as safe distancing enforcement officers now have the authority to enter homes for random spot checks, an unexpected group of Singaporeans are eagerly awaiting these unwanted privacy invasions. Excited to share the new BTO they secured, new homeowners are not just welcoming SDEOs with open arms, but are more than willing to divulge personal information ranging from house value to NRIC numbers. So this is my BTO, 1,000 square feet, great location, super chill. But like maximum can only have like two visitors and how am I supposed to have a housewarming party? So when the safe distancing officers came in, I was like, there's three of you. Like, come in, you guys can break the law, right? Just come in, look at my house. <laughs> how did I get this job? Uh? <laughs> Funny story actually. So my previous job was actually as a criminal. So when I was arrested, the police officers were like, hey, you know, you're good at handling guns you're really good at entering people's homes without permission. So you look like the perfect person that we want to bestow with an unreasonable amount of power. And I was like, you know, that's, that's flawless logic. However, homeowners are not the only ones excited to receive a random spot check, as many SDEOs are also ever ready to abuse their newfound house tour powers. Yeah, nowadays I get a few social distancing officers coming by. Um, they walk past the house and they go, Hey, is that a bungalow? Wow! And I'm like, uh, yeah, it's a bungalow. And they come in, they eat my food, they drink my drinks, and they tell me uh, I may need to check the pool, make sure there's nobody in there. And then they just take their clothes off and jump in the pool. Like, who are these dudes, man? The best is when they come at 4am. I was like, is this legal? Why isn't there any time restriction on this? And yesterday night he came at 4am and I was like, don't you need to sleep? And he was like, COVID doesn't sleep, so how can I sleep? <laughs> it doesn't even make any sense. To be honest, this is one of my favourite houses to visit. Social distancing is not just physical, it's, it's emotional as well. And I've gotten quite emotionally distant from my wife. So sometimes, at night when I can't sleep, you know, I put on my armband at 3am and I start ringing the doorbells of random houses. You know, just go in, chit chat a bit, tell them about my life, <laughs> you know? They can't say no one, right? Honestly, entering people's houses without a warrant is actually really fun. And, and the pay's not bad as well, you know? Y'all should, should really try it out sometime, you know? Honestly, this is the fifth time he has come in two days. At this rate, he can join my mahjong kaki already. Cause I already have two people. So he can come in whenever he wants and break the law and we can have four people. Sometimes a guy will ask me like, is this a real Salvador Dali? I'll be like, yeah, it's real. And some guys will touch it. One guy wanted to borrow it like, why you want to borrow it, dude? What are you going to do with it? This statue I bought from Taopao, okay? This couch I bought from Shopee. This house I bought from Q10. Okay, like, like, what's next? You're going to check my shopping cart? Huh? You're going to like look at my browsing history? Like, what are you guys trying to do, man? 